Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the, my program which is I wrote it for the uh, getting some beam data from the speckle. So this program I'm writing by AI. So I'm using only AI to write the code. I'm using only AI to understand how it should be work. Yes, it's strange things, but this is my goal. I want to wrote the my own program only by AI. It's something like a challenge. I already have some few videos. The previous three videos, it's only was about how I created this program. You can check it. Today, I briefly will talk what I have done on the behind. I mean, the behind the screen. So, uh, actually, first of thing, I rewrote. Um, I think like 50% of the code. Uh, before it was really huge the problems with the logic. Sometimes we will use use the logics like uh, three times, four times, or each time when I'm using the function. It was really strange and really slow. I rewrote all these things and now it's much better. But as you can see, still I have a lot of the work with the some animation, but it's not so uh, about that. I not will spend time much time for that but uh, still uh, we have uh, a lot of the works to optimize my code the lines of the code also was uh, really increase higher increasingly uh, as you can see changed it's like uh, now, now, now it's uh, 500 uh, lines code but before it was only 200 so it's really huge uh, difference before now and before I mean so, and I a bit redesign, of course, the some front things, as you can see now, it looks like uh, much better. I did a modular, uh, modular type of the main menu. Now, if I want to add some, add some new, uh, let's say, uh, function, I can do it easily without any big problem because uh, it's working only from the main file. So I can write like number eight and uh, another check uh, naming and that's it. After that, just using the function and that's it. It's really simple now working with the my code. And now let's talk about what I changed. Actually, the first thing what I changed, I did everything. It's modular, as I already said. As you can see, all these different things, this is a modular. Uh, it's really now uh, much simplest work with that. For example, if I want to change something in main menu, as you can see, I have like, I, I should add some new things and just a function of that things. That's it. So it's working really pretty simple. Um, also, I did uh, like, I created like few different, um, like, let's say checks. Uh, for example, I created the project information. What the project information doing? Actually, the project information taking the all the latest data from the each branch, uh, branches. Uh, I mean, each commit from the each branches, and after that, it's summarizing. So, uh, firstly, I, I'm getting like standalone data. I mean the from the branch one, branch two, branch three, and on and on. And after that. Uh, I getting like summary from all of these branches and this is really perfect because I don't need to calculate uh, I mean in my brain like uh, how many rooms I have let's say because uh, this small script doing it for me and I don't need to open the rabbit to calculate everything so and it's making the much simplest and also as you can see here I have the types of the room here the name of the room and here this quantity it's uh, also the taking the data from the whole uh, whole the project and here it's like a summary how many rooms so types uh, of rooms I have in my project as you can see here is really huge numbers like thousands uh, types of the rooms and uh, if you are working manually it's really hard hard so to calculate everything sometimes you will miss one of two or two the some types and here as you can see overall the um, the numbers of the rooms uh, for better understanding this project is like a uh, hundred thousand square meters and as you understand it's a lot of different Revit files and it's, it's hard to control it uh, also I have to for that things I also have the special uh, special checks this is number seven uh, let's say 
um, I will try to explain. Revit not correctly rounded the, mm, uh, I mean the numbers. It's not doing not right uh, because um, Revit just, let's say, uh, cutting the numbers. For example, you want to float numbers with three after dot, um, but uh, Revit is doing not right. So. Uh, to be for what what we can, what we can do with these things we can uh, calculate manually we can create some script or whatever uh, actually for my case we are using the some script it's using the own uh, parameter here is the own parameter and here is the uh, system rabbit uh, square meters so this is system rabbit area so this is uh, from the Revit as also the, from the Revit, but this one it's working with the script, with this one not working with the script. What we can see here, all the my sections, everything all right. So there are not any problems with the room, but this one is ID of the my room. Actually, this is Revit ID with some problem. As you can see, uh, Revit uh, area it's 16, uh, almost 17 square meter but the my script calculating like 7.6 so there's some problem i'm for sure there's some problem and uh, now i can just select this id and send to the architects uh, with the comment like uh, there's some problem with the uh, area please check it and i'm for sure there like uh, all i think deleted some uh, wall maybe they're not a separated room or something like that so something they're missing and now i can just easily with 15 seconds as you can see uh, check uh, is it everything all right with the areas in rooms in my project not on only file in project or not and uh, if I, for example, I can do it manually. Actually, it's uh, really simple to do manually in Revit. You just creating the some schedule and uh, checking uh, this parameter. But I should open seven uh, files to check this information. Now I'm spending only 15 seconds to check uh, this. Uh, this problem this case also I have uh, one more nice thing uh, as I think mm, uh, it's also the for example the potential matches room names as you can see here what is that uh, maybe you know maybe you not but I will explain uh, in different country different uh, people using different uh, of course the alphabet for example now I'm writing the uh, K on the English and now I am writing uh, K on the Russian it's totally same as you can see uh, also we have a lot of the languages when uh, where the uh, alphabet is really same with the uh, with the English one I mean with Latin one but um, for the PC it's different language uh, and even if the visual uh, the uh, let's say symbol uh, character it's same for the PC it's different and what's the problem problem is when you for example your room type have for example 1k let's say 1k like this and let's change the language 1k as you can see it looks uh, now it's not looks really same because as you can see here is a b different k but it's again it's really hard to understand if i will use caps lock as you can see it's totally same how to understand is different k but it's different k so i wrote the program actually not program i check which is uh, checking the um, is it different uh, using the uh, spelling or not now it's checking. I think in this project we don't have any problem with that. But anyway, anyway, I have this thing which is checking the different uh, alphabet. It's also, again, this is local thing. Uh, this is only for the my case. But I'm trying to show you not some useless, uh, unusable or useless program. I just showing to you pro program which is you will use in your case maybe you will create some for your reason and as you can see the green one here is the like translate i will translate for you here not any problem nice uh, also the one thing more let's say you have the mm, section one section two or let's say the uh, building one building two or, or urban block doesn't matter the naming of part of your uh, building 
and uh, some people in your uh, let's say in your project will do use the different name for this block for the rooms for example block one with the caps lock block one without caps lock just a one or just b one whatever as you can see here we are using the section one section five section two here is everything all right but here it's not as you can see for the section three someone using the one why it's section three it's not it's not the one uh, someone using s3 okay here the we have some reason but another one it's again section writing on the Russian but again three but why you're not using only one type of the uh, rooms for the section naming I mean the actually this is a problem and I'm checking it because again when uh, we are working with the beam we are working with the beam the information is the most powerful thing if information inside your beam model will be wrong so it's not will be beam it will be aftercut 3d drawing that's it again let's uh, look at here here the using the uh, lowercase here using the caps lock again cap i mean everything uh, in uppercase but it's totally same again the problem here also different situation like here as you can see uh, caps lock here using the lowercase here using the caps lock without some other number here the section six but here using the section five so i'm just showing you some cases which is i used uh, for the my goal for the my checks uh, i found like checks uh, i i found uh, like case with this problem and i wrote the module for the my program to check all this result awesome i think yes so and of course you can get uh, some i don't know like previous result you can check uh, what we have the in our database if you want so it's also you will find in this program so uh, what i want to say i uh, actually actually to be honest uh, uh, creating the program with ai right now it's really hard i mean on this stage it's already hard because i need more and more specific information but the gpt chat uh, nicely working with the some small uh, some small task it's really nice working but when you have for example the code with the uh, hundreds uh, lines of the code it's really hard uh, for the gpt understand what you want you should create your uh, task really clear and uh, without any uh, some let's say some other words you need to use only straight words what you want exactly yeah, for that one, thank you, the speckle and the community speckle. I read it a lot of documentation, how work with, as you can see, how to get some parameters from the rooms, how to use that, what I should use. Uh, and here is a lot of the different uh, documentation. And really thanks, guys, for you doing that if you are watching this. If not, uh, it's okay. I just trying to say documentation you should read even if you don't know Revit, uh, I mean the coding at all, you should read. Because here you can see, I can easily understand the, if I want to get some parameters from the element, I should use some type of the function like this. And here also they have some ideas how we can get the data. Uh, why I'm showing to you this? Because uh, in uh, one moment I was stuck and I like writing the uh, for the AI, for the GPT, some uh, my task and uh, GPT giving me some really... Uh, bad result I didn't get any information and after that I was uh, going to the community I mean uh, to the forums and taking the information uh, to help AI I really was just copying all this text to the AI like check documentation maybe it will help and it was help so in the end what I want to say uh, this experiment it was really awesome this experiment giving to me a really nice and powerful tool uh, with the basic things. Now I can create everything what I want. I can uh, go to the cross all the uh, branches and taking any commits what I want. Uh, now I understand like for example you cannot uh, get the, the, all the uh, commits from the speckle if you're not writing some. Uh, I will show you 
he had the commit processor. And if you're not writing the limit uh, more than you want, because uh, in standard limit it's only 10. And you will understand when you will uh, start write your code what I'm talking about. So all these things really helps to me to get really powerful powerful thing. Yes. If you are now thinking uh, how you can start learn, for example, the Python programming and uh, in the same time to create really nice program for you and you want to use it, for example, uh, as soon as possible, use AI, uh, try to use GPT chat and you will get uh, really in short time uh, the workable program which is, will help you to get the data from your files. If you don't want to use the speckle, you can create the, some Python uh, scripts for the uh, PyRabbit, so maybe, maybe for Dynamo also, why not? So, uh, overall, I want to say this experiment was really awesome. I really like it. So, and uh, after that, uh, I not will be post uh, how I will uh, approve this program. If I will do some really extraordinary things, I will create a new video. But right now I can say that my experiment was success. Uh, even right now, I'm really happy for the result and uh, I want to share with you guys. So if you want to, for example, help me to develop this code, Maybe you will teach me how to code normally, not like uh, I'm doing right now. Uh, welcome to the my GitHub uh, link. You will find it below the video, and you can help me. I will uh, I will add you here, and you will can able to change everything what you want. But for today, it's finished. Uh, sorry, it's not was tutorial. It was something like uh, the my meaning about uh, GPT chat uh, AI and uh, writing the code for the Beam. Um, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.